It's a design that could be a lifesaver. This lamppost is built to give way when a vehicle hits it. The top of the pole will slip away from its base, allowing the driver to regain control of his vehicle and bring it to a safe stop. Normally, if it was a traditional steel lighting column, the car would have come to an instant stop um, and the passengers inside the vehicle would have been potentially killed or severely injured because of the severity of the impact. It's just one of the innovations on display at this exhibition at Bruntingthorpe in Leicestershire, showing the latest ideas aimed at making the roadworking industry safer and more efficient. Wayne Johnson's company has been putting down road markings for more than 30 years. He says they're trying to automate the process as much as possible to protect their workers. The answer for us is really to remove all our operatives from the carriageway so that if there is an incident they're not, they're not out, they don't hit our operatives, they, you know, they may be driven into barriers or maybe into our equipment, but everyone's safe. And uh, what we're trying to do is improve the efficiency so we're there on the carriageway for less time. Therefore, obviously, we don't have to be out there so often repairing the roads. Some of the ideas have come from abroad. This equipment for quickly clearing accident debris off a road is based on a machine that's used to clean Bondi Beach in Australia. And this million pound setup is an American import. The two halves join together to surround and protect workers while only having to close one lane on the carriageway. Despite all the innovation though, traffic cones it seems won't be disappearing just yet. Although that may change in the future. I believe that there is a future for cones, but it might not be a long-term future for cones. We want to minimise the number of cones in the network, but we've got a big road building programme, and so traffic management is essential to do that safely for our workers and people passing through roadworks. But potentially the future offers opportunity for connected vehicles and smart infrastructure that might look at things very differently. Highways England's innovation budget is around £30 million a year as the government tries to find ways of using the latest technology and ideas to keep our roads safe and moving. Kevin Ashford, ITV News.